Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Wednesday, March the 2nd. It's the third week in Lent, and the scripture for this service. Psalm 119, verse 97 to 120, and Mark chapter 6, verse 13 to 29. And please join me in singing verse 4 of the paraphrase of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. We are God's people, we God's care, our souls and all our mortal frame. What lasting honors can we rear? Almighty Maker, to your Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. Psalm 119, and please recite it with me. Oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. Your commandments have made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients, because I keep your precepts. I have restrained my feet from every evil way, that I might keep your word. I have not departed from your judgments, for you have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your precepts I gain understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn and I will perform. I will keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply afflicted, O God. Give me life according to your word. Accept offerings from my mouth and teach me your judgments. My life is continually in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I have not strayed from your precepts. Your testimonies are my inheritance forever, for they are the joy of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform your statutes always, even to the end. I hate vain thoughts, but I love your law. You are my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word. Depart from me, evildoers, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according to your word, that I may live and not be ashamed. Hold me up, and I shall be safe. I will always respect your statutes. You have trodden them down that stray from your statutes, for their deceitfulness is in vain. You put away all the wickedness, all the wicked of the earth like dross. Therefore, I love your testimonies. My flesh trembles in fear of you, and I am afraid of your judgments. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 6, beginning at verse 13. The apostles cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. And King Herod heard of it, for Jesus' name had become known. And some were saying, John the baptizer has been raised from the dead. And for this reason, these powers are at work in Jesus. But others said, it is Elijah. And others said, It is a prophet like one of the prophets of old. But when Herod heard of it, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been raised. For Herod himself had sent men who arrested John, bound him, and put him in prison on account of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because Herod had married her. For John had been telling Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. And Herodias had a grudge against John and wanted to kill him. 
but she could not, for Herod feared John, knowing that he was a righteous and holy man, and he protected him. When he heard him, he was greatly perplexed, <clears throat> and yet he liked to listen to him. But an opportunity came when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers and officers, and for the leaders of Galilee. And when his daughter Herodias came in and danced, she pleased Herod and his guests. And the king said to the girl, Ask me for whatever you wish, and I will give it. And he solemnly swore to her, Whatever you ask me, I will give you, even half of my kingdom. And she went out and said to her mother, What should I ask for? And she replied, The head of John the baptizer. Immediately she rushed back to the king and requested, I want you to give me at once the head of John the baptizer on a platter. And the king was deeply grieved. Yet out of regard for his oaths and for the guests, he did not want to refuse her. Immediately the king sent a soldier of the guard with orders to bring John's head. He went and beheaded John in the prison and brought his head on a platter and gave it to the girl. And then the girl gave it to her mother. When John's disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. And please respond for, uh, please say the response after each verse. Defend us and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Most high God, save us, for we seek your precepts and love to do your will. Accept our praise as we sing your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen.